Look at that antenna pole up there. It used to have a TV antenna on it. I think up there now the scanner antenna that I never used. I should have never took my TV antenna down. Today I'm going to talk about cutting the cord a little bit. Good day viewers, Walter here. In a recent video I discussed how I had been cutting the cord lately. I'm sitting here watching TV most of the week, we'll seeing in out of the rainy weather. Let me lower that volume. Okay, what we're looking at now is the picture that I'm getting on my homemade antenna you see over there on the table. It's one of the first ones I made. I got one in the basement. I'll show you a picture here in a moment of it that I bought at the store. It don't work near as good as these homemade ones I did. I want to put one up outside on the garage roof when I make one out of some better material. And that's going to be an upcoming project, uh, producing an antenna that looks presentable. That homemade looking thing over there ain't all that hot in appearance. And it sure gets one fine picture. I've been cutting the cord here lately, cut down on some of my expenses. I'm just thumbing through some of the channels. I get quite a few of them here off of the antenna. And what ticks me off about the whole situation was I had a television antenna on top of this house. In fact, the pole is still up there on the roof. I'm not able to climb up on the roof anymore. Uh, an antenna is an antenna. This bull only about HD antenna, all the difference in an HD antenna and a regular TV antenna that we used to use is a little bit different length in the elements of the antenna. Which, which does make your standing wave ratio a little off. But the, even the old style antennas would have picked up quite a considerable amount of TV stations without doing a darn thing. Good day viewers, in today's video I will but briefly touch on the subject of SWR, standing wave ratio of an antenna and at the risk of boring the tar out of you I won't mention much about it however uh, basically what it means to is the elements of an antenna has to match the radio waves in length either a half length a quarter length or a full wavelength very often an antenna's wave is much too big a full wavelength is much too long for um, creating an antenna, so just a portion, a fraction of the radio wave is matched with an antenna. Many, many of the world out there just flat got took over by cable companies and satellite companies, and um, you see an occasional video where somebody's talking about I get free TV. TV's always been free over the air. The law requires that they continue to produce it over the air, even though most people are not looking at it uh, on the air. But uh, if you're in a downtown situation, uh, downtown area, you could just probably get away with some little rabbit ears. I'm out in the country, so I do need an outside antenna to get a better picture. And I'd get quite a bit more pictures with an outside antenna than I'm getting here. But you can't complain about that quality right there. Let's see, let's go to, that's the primary channel 8 around here. Right there. 
You can't get that good of a picture on cable. I'll show you the store-bought thing I bought downstairs. It don't work near as good. And like I said, I'm going to do an upcoming project. Another thing I did on my cutting cable, let's go to uh, YouTube. So then I'm going to switch over to streaming. Now what I'm using for a TV service here now, and I don't have the greatest internet coming into this house. We get six megabytes of speed. They, that's what they charge me for. But I, I'm normally lucky if I get three megabytes per second of speed. They lie, at and is lying when they say that they're get, providing me with six. And even the cheapest cable company around will provide you with 20 or 30 uh, megabytes of speed. So that's how poor AT&T service is out here. When I call them and tell them I want uh, an improved or better internet, they said, they're, I'm already getting the maximum of what they produce in this area. In other words, they can't put, they don't want to put new wires in up and down the road. They're just running everything over the old telephone lines that's been here for a hundred years. So AT&T in the big cities have got their fiber and everything, but they never provided it to their customers. Anyway, I don't want to drag on about their sorry internet service, even though it is pretty dang sorry. I was carrying on about my YouTube. Now, see, I sit and stream videos on YouTube here the YouTube coming in over the air is just the same YouTube you get on your computer. I can click watch later and add programs and they'll suggest programs. Uh, and I watch 90% of my TV right here on the YouTube app. But let's go to YouTube TV, which is right here. Even though I'm getting sorry internet service coming in, I'm getting a pretty good picture most of the time. Occasionally I'll have to reboot my modem back there to get it to back up to speed. But there's my YouTube homepage. Want to go to live TV, you just flip over there. There's the local channels. You can go down through the guide. And I'll just pick one at random. Um, let's take that show there. To show you the quality is the only reason I'm picking it. See how slow my picture is loading? So that picture is not as good a quality as what I'm getting with my antenna, but it's, it's reason, reasonably well off enough to watch TV. And I'm getting sick and tired of hearing this railroad job at the court out at uh, Congress. That's coming in pretty good off of YouTube there. This electric knife sharpener can be used with both anyway, when I'm blades. getting my internet service or my TV through the internet, uh, it's cost me $49 a month. That's considerably cheaper than $149 or something like that I was paying with Direct TV. Already, Direct TV has sent me an ad saying, I, please come on back and they'll just let me have it for $49 a month. For the first three months, but you know it's just going to jack back back up. After that, they just want to get me back on their system. So I got satellite dish hanging on the back of this house. I'm not even using it anymore. Anyway, I just want to mention to my viewers, I haven't made any videos here lately, but I will be. I've got several projects in mind. The weather has kept me in. Uh, physical conditions has kept me kind of quiet. But in answer to my many viewers about where I've been, I'm still kicking my friends. It's Pete Walpar. Uh, wishing everybody a happy holiday season. And I hope everybody has a very Merry Christmas and uh, a great New Year. This is Pete Walpar saying y'all have a good day.